YouTube friends, what's going on? And David Lee back with yet another brand new video. Uh, this one comes a request of one of my YouTube subscribers asking me if I could go over how to create particle effects in your videos. Particle effects, uh, the way I like to use them, well, depending on how I want to use them, uh, for the most part is just adding a dust particles to recreate uh, dust in a room, um, or so you have a scene where light shining through a window. You know, normally where you see the dust kind of flying around, right? Uh, I like recreating that when I can't, you know, create it in um, as a practical effect, right? Or like a real time effect. So I'm going to show you guys how to create this background layer, uh, or actually how to use a background layer in Adobe Premiere Pro. Same thing if you're using uh, Resolve or Final Cut Pro 10. I'll see if I can find the link to the particle effect that I downloaded like I don't know, two or three years ago. I remember it was free, which is the most important part. It was free. It came with, I think, 15 particle effects and then plus some bonuses. Uh, there's really only two that I use. Uh, one of them is like a swirling effect. And then the other one is kind of just like a constant effect where it's coming from, uh, I believe, camera, camera left. And it won't change your color grading process either. Again, it's just adding particle effects as a as like a top layer. So this will be a very short, very quick video for you guys. Let's hop into Adobe Premiere Pro and let's get started. Alrighty, friends, we are in Adobe Premiere Pro as always. Uh, what we're looking at right now is um, just outside of or the inside of um, my upstairs looking outside. I'm basically upstairs in my house looking outside the window. There we go. Um, <laughs> the lighting looked pretty good. And um, yeah, so I decided to use this as an example of how particle effects, dust effects can add something that's more um, dynamic and more uh, environmental to your footage. So we'll just play the clip really, really simple. It's only, you know, uh, seven seconds or eight seconds long. Uh, but basically you're looking outside the wind, the sun is coming in through the window. And it's just a slight little pan up with a little lens flare there. And we just continue the, um, the handheld movement all the way across. And that's it. Really, really short. Again, it's like eight seconds long. So how can this clip look a little bit more uh, cinematic, right? We can add some particle effects to create an environment. So I have a few here that we can use. Um, I'll show you one, which is, uh, it's not like too, uh, what's the word? Uh, it's not too intense. It's barely, barely noticeable. So, which is why I don't use it sometimes because it's like you can't even can't even see it. And again, these particle effects I downloaded for free. Uh, I will have the link in the description as well. And these are free downloads. I had to make them, um, so I will give you the exact link to the uh, uh, to where I found it from. All right. So this first one again. These are layers, right? So it's basically just like a movie clip. So if you play it back, you can kind of see the uh, the dust, right? Uh, moving from top left to the to the right side of the, the frame and uh, I'll just play this back for a few seconds so you can see what it looks like right so the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to um, just kind of overlay on top of our footage so we're gonna go to our effect controls so what we do first is we just change the blend mode to uh, you know your your choice you can be screen it can be maybe lighten uh, maybe you want to do uh, soft light, right? It kind of just depends. Um, but if you just really want to put the particle effects over your, your clip without adjusting like the exposure, uh, I would either use screen or I would use lighten depending on, uh, on what the exposure is for your scene. Um, so in this case, light, right now, lighten, uh, I don't really think I'm going to see. Yeah, you can barely see anything. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the wrong one. I'm going to choose screen, right? And then with screen, I can see the particles coming, right? Cool. And I think this one, this one matches too, because my camera, uh, my movements going from left to right and the particles are going from left to right as well too. So it makes sense to use this one, right? Uh, I'm going to disable this layer and I'm going to use the other one, which is more prominent. Okay. So now you can already see, uh, the dust particles everywhere. I'm just play this. And uh, I kind of had this like swirly effect, right? Which, uh, which I like it has a swirly effect, but also, uh, there's some particles that are moving from left to right. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. We're going to switch the blend mode again to screen, right? And put this back. So too much, right? Like too much is just happening. What we can do is we can adjust, um, a couple things. First one is we can change the opacity. Uh, and lower it down to, uh, let's say something like 15%, uh, let's try 
percent. Okay, go back. So twenty percent. I think for this one, uh, it's not the appropriate one to use because like there's camera movement, um, and it doesn't look natural, right? Like the way that the particle is moving and the way my camera is moving, it, it kind of just looks like fake, right? Whereas if we go back to the original one, right, the particles are moving from left to right and that goes with the camera movement. So this looks more appropriate. So in this clip, same time of day, uh, a little bit different exposure. I'm not going straight into uh, into the sun. I was just really focusing on this uh, leaf outside of my house, right, or the leaf of a branch of a tree, the whole thing. Um, so actually, maybe this one, we can use a swirly effect. Let's go ahead and enable this layer again. Okay, and again, our swirly dust is at 220% in screen. Uh, let's play it back and see what it looks like. It's okay. Maybe I switch the blend mode to lighten and play this back. Yeah, this looks very, very just subtle, which I like. Uh, the opacity, let's play around with the opacity. That's a that's that's a hundred percent. It's probably too much, so let's back it off to maybe uh, yeah, let's try fifty percent. Okay, play this back. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, let's try maybe 40%, uh, let's go 30%, okay? Yeah, very, very subtle, right? They look very, very, they look like very small dust particles are just adding some atmosphere, adding some mood um, to it, okay? Cool, uh, and then let's go ahead and kind of just uh, stay with the, let me delete this layer. Again, this is and this footage is taken from the GH5 in uh, Vlog uh, using the SLR Magic 25 millimeter T.95. Um, but I was not at 9.5, I was probably at mm, probably like 2 or 2.8, something like that. All right. Uh, but let's go ahead and just grade this really quick because this is just flat. All right. It's not looking like anything. It's going to do a quick little grade in this guy to show you what it uh, looks like in the end. Again, using Magic Bolt Looks and Film Convert. I've said this probably 8 billion times, you're probably tired of it, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my grading on it. Okay, uh, I'm going to bring this intensity of mojo to probably like 60%. And then, again, this is a very quick color grade. Um, and actually, this is pretty much how I color grade. I just use film cover and magic bolt looks for everything, right? Um, but again, I'm not going to like dial everything in. I'm just going to make it... Um, appropriate so let's go color correction um, I'm gonna see what film stock I want to use uh, let's go with the default I'm gonna switch my grain down to 20 percent uh, oh by the way this is actually not 4k I shot this in uh, full HD 1080p 10 uh, bit 422 as I I've, I actually like the 10 the bit uh, 422 out of this camera um, I feel like I don't really need to use 4K unless I, um, yeah, unless I need to use 4K, you know. Uh, color saturation, maybe let's bump this up ever so slightly. Okay, 110%. Play this back. Cool. All right, so you can kind of see like a before. We'll turn off the the grade, and we'll turn off the dust. Okay, so this is before. All right, and then this is after with the grade and dust particle. Cool, so the same thing for our other clip. We can see what it looks like with a before and after. So this is before, again, no dust particle, no grade. Okay, and then we'll enable the grade and our dust particle. Cool. 
those protocols are great. You know, it's what you would see um, in, in real life. Uh, and also some of your favorite movies where there's, you know, shafts of light being created and uh, there is this there's this atmosphere, there's this environment being created uh, that just looks very pleasing. It looks um, like intentional, you know, that you intentionally uh, wanted to shoot that scene specifically for the mood it's creating, the uh, the environment it's creating. And uh, yeah, so again, a cheap way, free way, really, um, to uh, add a little bit of production value to, to your projects, to your videos, um, whatever it can be. So hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you do, Give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as always, friends. Uh, hit me up on Instagram at David Lee. And remember, friends, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.